Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, we had a few showers off the coast that are currently uh, about 10 to 20 miles off to our south and east that continued to stream up towards the northeast this morning. Had a few lightning strikes earlier this morning around the Cape Charles area, but uh, nothing has really come close to the Wallops area and it appears that all of this activity will remain off the coast for the remainder of the day and we'll see dry conditions uh, for the remainder of your Wednesday. Taking a look here at your uh, current surface analysis, you can see this frontal boundary continue to be uh, just stalled out over the Delmarva Peninsula and we'll continue to see uh, really little in the way of any kind of movement with this frontal boundary over the course of the next couple of days. Uh, we will see a little bit of the uh, upper level energy move back to the north and west closer to our area as we get into the overnight hours tonight into uh, early tomorrow and we'll set up for a day of scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, throughout your Thursday. Looking at your upper level wind profile from this morning's balloon release, we saw northeast, northwesterly winds at the low levels of the atmosphere quickly becoming southwesterly in direction, holding that southwesterly flow all the way up to 25,000 feet where we see a max wind at 52 knots at the 25,000 foot level. Freezing level this morning was at 13,900 feet. I want to take a look here now at our uh, visible satellite imagery. You can see the clouds associated with the uh, showers and thunderstorms that were moving uh, off the coast this morning. Uh, we do see clearing off to our west and it's uh, we're kind of lying right in between these clouds and the clearing off to our west currently under partly to mostly cloudy skies. As we go through the day we'll see a little bit more clearing and average out mostly sunny as we get into the afternoon today. Looking at our forecast model and what we can expect, as you can see here, the model picking up on a few showers and thunderstorms remaining off the coast today, uh, but remaining dry for us uh, throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Then overnight tonight, we'll see some of that energy begin to make its way a little farther north and west and see a few showers and thunderstorms possible as we get into the overnight hours tonight, and especially into Thursday as we'll see a few scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area uh, remaining uh, in the morning and into the afternoon and the evening. We'll continue with those chances. As we get into the late evening hours of Thursday, we'll see a uh, possibility of uh, probably our best chance in the day of some thunderstorm activity as these uh, showers and thunderstorms develop along the front and start to push across our area. As we get into Friday, switching over here to the uh, European model, we're going to see uh, pretty nice conditions overall. Uh, we'll start off with some, some pretty warm conditions in the morning, but as we go through the day, a drier air mass will make its way uh, across the region and we'll see dew points and humidity levels actually dropping as we go into the afternoon. So although we will see temperatures uh, pretty warm up around 90 degrees, it should start to feel uh, a bit more comfortable out there during the afternoon as those humidity levels uh, really start to fall off as we go into the afternoon and evening hours of Friday. Uh, as we go into the weekend, it is shaping up to be a very nice uh, weather setup for us with high pressure in place, very comfortable conditions, uh, temperatures right around 80 to uh, 82 degrees uh, for your Saturday under sunny skies and low humidity. So for August, we're shaping up for a very uh, nice weekend with uh, dry conditions and, and very comfortable conditions as well. Dry conditions will continue into the first part of next week as you uh, take a look here at your Monday and into uh, Tuesday. European model really not indicating much in the way of shower and thunderstorm chances for Tuesday, but some of the other models indicating we will see a front push south through the region as we get into the uh, Tuesday time frame. So tracking that as a uh, potential for the uh, next shot at, rain, at some rain in our area after we get past uh, Thursday of this week. So looking at the next 24 hours, seeing dry conditions throughout the day today, overnight tonight, dropping down into the low to mid 70s. And then for Thursday, we'll see those scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area uh, pretty much all day. It's not going to be a washout by any means, but we will see the risk probably around 30 to 40 percent of seeing some showers and thunderstorms across the area as that front hangs up across the uh, Delmarva Peninsula and we see a few waves of uh, energy moving along that front throughout the day. Looking at your seven day forecast, looking at uh, pretty nice conditions after Thursday, especially into the weekend, you can see uh, very comfortable conditions, overnight lows in the 60s, 
daytime highs in the 80s with low humidity values. And then as we get into the beginning of next week, we'll see the humidity return to the area. Temperatures rising into the lower 90s once again for Monday. And then potentially seeing uh, some showers and thunderstorms early Tuesday as that front uh, begins to make its way across the area. And we do see uh, possibly some showers and thunderstorms lingering throughout the day on Tuesday. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning with a briefing at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.